In this video, we will talk about the distributed shared memory service on Ericsson Labs and demonstrate some prototype application we have developed. This is a shared map application based on Ericsson Web Maps API and the distributed shared memory service. As you can see, we have implemented a shared cursor that follows the mouse cursor movement. If I move around the mouse, the shared cursor also moves on the other window. I can also zoom in and zoom out, and I can also scroll the map. As you can see, the maps are synchronized and all changes appear in both windows. Theoretically, any number of users can man manipulate the map at the same time. In this case, merge conflicts can occur if multiple users make changes at the same time. These conflicts are automatically resolved using operational transformation, which is a theoretical framework for consistency management and concurrency control. In the shared map application, all states, for example, the map and the cursor position, are stored in a DSM storage. Let's take a look inside and see what is stored. This is a web-based management tool also available on Ericsson Labs. Every DSM storage has a unique address. By knowing this address, it is possible to get a replica of a DSM storage. Typically, a web application checks out a, a replica and all operations are always done locally and then synchronized with the other replicas in the background. This approach has a number of benefits. For example, the user experience is significantly improved as the user interface can be updated directly without having to wait for server responses. This is another prototype we have developed. It's a shared whiteboard based on SVG Edit, which is an open source web based SVG editor. In this case, the distributed shared memory is used to synchronize SVG Doom objects. All drawing objects are represented as separate DSM storages and interlinked to form a graph database, which is synchronized on all clients. Thank you for listening.